Hello students, I am Sachitraka. Welcome to Cars Physics. This is my lecture 8 on electrostatics and we are continuing electric charge and electric field. In this lecture, we will discuss some electric field lines or we may say electric lines of force. Okay, this concept means concept of electric field lines is given by the great scientist Michael Faraday. Okay, we will discuss all the concepts related to electric field lines, but before that, let's recall about the previous discussion. Okay, if charge is given to a body, means we assume conducting body. If charge is given to a body, as we have discussed, no charge remains inside the body, but the whole charge is distributed on the surface of charge body. Okay, again, I would like to uh, advise your students, those who have not gone through previous lectures, please go through all the previous lectures and again, I can assure your fundamental concepts can be clarified. Okay. If charge is given to a conducting body, then no charge remains inside the body, but total charge given to the body is distributed on the surface of the charge body. Suppose you have given positive charge. Positive charge is given to a body. We have considered a spherical body. As we have discussed, spherical body is perfectly smooth and we have considered small spherical bodies. This is not appear small, but we may consider this is, these are small spherical bodies. So, charge, positive charge, this body is positively charged, then we may assume the whole positive charge is distributed uniformly on the surface of spherical charge body and again if the body is negatively charged then all negative charge is distributed uniformly on the surface of small spherical body okay so there is no charge inside a body so total charge given to the body is inside the body is zero okay again we have discussed what is electric field strength or electric field intensity. Electric field intensity as we have discussed is force per unit positive charge. Okay. So force experience bar the charge is F is equal to QE. Okay. So direction of electric field intensity as we have discussed is along the direction of force experienced by unit positive charge. Okay. So this is expression for force. Again, electric field, magnitude of electric field, we may take KQ1 square of distance. So, magnitude of electric field directly proportional to magnitude of field creating charge and inversely proportional to square of distance from the point charge. Okay. Again, we have discussed what is the range of electric field. Range of electric field is up to infinity. Means electric field, the effect of electric field can be observed up to infinite distance. Okay. So, again we have discussed the electric field strength decreases rapidly as distance from point charge goes on increasing. Since electric field varies as uh, inversely to the square of distance from the point charge. So, magnitude of electric field decreases rapidly as with increasing distance. Okay. These are the fundamental concepts which are already discussed. Okay. So, suppose this is a positively charged body. I am erasing all these things. Okay. Suppose this is a positively charged body. Okay. Positively charged body. Electric field, as we have discussed, is force experienced by unit positive charge. You may take Q0 also. If we place an unit positive charge on the surface of the body, then obviously this positive charge will repel this positive charge. This is repulsive. If you place here, then also this is 
the charge is experiencing repulsive force and so on. Okay. If we take negatively charged body, negative charge, then it will attract the unit positive charge. Okay. Positive repels positive, negative attracts positive. So accordingly, we may show how the negatively charged body attracts an unit positive charge or test charge. Okay like this so we may name all these imaginary lines lines of force means the charge body repels or the charge body attracts unit positive charge but it doesn't mean that these lines are drawn on the uh, surface suppose we have put a positive charge in space it doesn't mean that the line will be drawn in the space Okay, <laughs> these are imaginary lines to visualize electric field. Means where there is electric field, there must be electric field lines. Okay, then what is electric field lines? What do you mean by electric field lines? I'm writing here electric field lines. Are graphical imaginary electric lines are field lines are imaginary graphical representation to visualize electric field okay electric field lines are imaginary we are drawing those lines, the li lines are not drawn automatically, okay. Electric field lines are imaginary, graphical means we are representing, we are drawing the imaginary lines. Electric field lines are imaginary, graphical representation to visualize, means we have to imagine the presence of electric field by visualizing these imaginary lines as to visualize electric field to visualize electric field okay so it means where there is lines of force there must be electric field okay if we place a charge body in space then obviously we can observe electric field lines all around it up to infinity of course we can't see up to infinity okay then this is about fundamental definition I have represented the electric field lines for positive charge and for negative charge and we will discuss all this in this class. So electric field lines are symmetric. Electric field lines are symmetric. If you see this is a positive charge, the equal number of electric lines of force both in up and down of the line. Okay. Here also the same thing. Of course, you may represent the electric field line like this also, like this also, okay. Electric field lines are symmetric. Again, we will consider or discuss about uh, the presence of two positively or negatively or positive and negative charge bodies, okay. So, this is about fundamental definition of electric field line. Then, what is practical definition of electric field lines? Okay. Electric field lines are the locus of unit positive charge tends to move. Okay, if you place a positively charged body and if we if we uh, place an unit positive charge near or on the surface then as we have observed then this unit positive uh, or positive charge or test charge will get repelled by this positively charged body okay and it will move along this straight line for a 
point charge are for a single charge body. So, electric field lines are the locus of unit positive charge, path followed by the unit positive charge, we may say like this also. Electric field lines are path followed by unit positive charge or locus of unit positive charge tends to move. Okay. Again, as we have shown in figure, electric field lines may be straight or may be curved. Okay. We will discuss how the electric lines, uh, electric field lines will be curved. Okay. So, electric field lines may be straight or may be curved. Okay. For a positively charged body, we may observe the diagram. For a positively charged body, electric field lines are radially outward. Radial outwards. For a negatively charged body, electric field lines are radial inwards. For positively charged body, electric field lines are radially outward and for a negatively charged body, electric field lines are radial inward and as you observe, the electric field lines are symmetric. Okay. For a single charge body, this is a single charge body, this is also a single charge body. Okay. So, a charge body is surrounded by electric lines of course, of course, we are assuming all these lines are imaginary graphical representation okay again electric field force experienced by unit positive charge f is equal to q electric field is vector quantity direction of electric field or field strength field intensity is along the direction of force then how can we determine the direction of electric field or direction of force experienced by unit positive charge. Okay. Tangent drum at any point on the lines of force shows direction of electric field at that point. Okay, we will discuss this. Tangent drawn at any point on the lines of force shows the direction of electric field at that point. Suppose we are considering lines of force is straight, maybe outward or maybe inward. Then here, if you draw a tangent at any point, then direction will be along the original direction of the straight line means original aromatic along the original aromatic. But if the lines of force is curved, suppose this is a line of force curved. Suppose we want to know what is direction of electric field at that at this point. Then since lines of force is in outward order, then here this is the tangent, this is the direction of electric field at this point. And here, this is the tangent, this is the direction of electric field at this point and so on. So, tangent drawn at any point on the lines of force or electric field line shows the direction of electric field at that point. Then, this point will be applied for another very easier question for board level. Okay. Two lines of force. Two lines of force. Never two electric field lines or lines of force, the same thing, never intersect each other. Each other. Okay. Two lines of force never intersect each other. Why? The same concept is also in magnetism, magnetic field lines. Suppose this is an electric field line, this is another electric field line. They are intersecting at this point, but this interse intersection is not possible. Two electric field lines never intersect each other because if they intersect at the point of intersection, there will be two tangents. Suppose for this lines of force, 
tangent will be along this direction for this line of force tangent will be along this direction so if they intersect if two lines of force intersect then at the point of intersection there will be two tangents showing two directions of electric field this is a direction this is a direction is it possible that at a given point there will be two directions of electric field so this is not possible so two lines of force never intersect each other because if they intersect at the point of intersection there will be there will be two tangents so in two directions of electric field which is not possible okay then another basic concept we know electric field lines are always electric field lines are always perpendicular to the surface of a charged body electric field lines are always perpendicular to the surface of charged body okay as we have observed here all the electric field lines are perpendicular to the surface of charged body okay electric field lines are always perpendicular to the surface of charged body Okay. As we have discussed, if charge is given to a body, see, suppose this body is given positive charge, then whole charge is distributed on the surface of charge body. Okay. There is no charge inside the surface of charge body. So there is no charge. So no electric. field lines and no electric field inside a charged body of course we are consider conducting body okay for a conducting body for a conducting body there is no charge about Uh, insulating bodies or non-conducting bodies, we will discuss in later stage. Okay, there is no charge, so no electric field lines, and no hence, 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 no electric field inside the charged body. So electric field inside a charged body is zero. But it will not the same discussion in magnetism. Okay, inside a magnet there will be. magnetic field lines are inside a magnet there will be magnetic field but inside a charged body electric field is zero because there is no electric field lines electric field lines are always start or terminate on the surface of charged body here for a positively charged body electric lines of force start from the surface for a negatively charged body electric field lines terminate on the surface of negatively charged body okay so these are basic thoughts or basic discussions now between two charged bodies suppose this diagram we are considering this is a positively charged body this is a negatively charged body okay suppose this positively charged body contains a charge of plus q1 this negatively charged body contains minus q2 okay then if you place here an unit positive charge on the surface it will repel it and obviously if two charges are in a system means more than two charges forming a system here two charges are forming a system if these two charges are forming a system then this positive charge repels unit positive charge and as well as this negative charge attracts unit positive charge okay electric field lines start from positively charged body and terminate on surface of negatively charged body so this unit positive charge placed on this on the surface of positively charged body will get repelled by this positively charged body as well as it will be attracted by the negatively charged body so it will move and finally terminate on the 
surface of negative charge okay if you place here an unit positive charge it will directly repel by it and attracted by it obviously if you place here an unit positive charge it will get repelled and attracted by negatively charged body and so on you may represent a number of lines of forces okay. so this is the line joining to oppositely charged bodies or maybe to similarly charged body the concept is electric field lines are symmetric with respect to the line joining two charges see here two lines of forces here two lines of forces of course we may represent no should be perpendicular should be perpendicular should be perpendicular should be perpendicular okay electric field lines are symmetric with respect to the line joining two charge bodies this is the line joining two charge bodies if you count the number of electric lines of forces for this charge 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 for this two charge for this charge body 1 2 3 1 2 3 so symmetric okay but here another point is there sometimes question is asked suppose we do refer this diagram okay this is a question from concept of physics okay suppose this is a positively charged body and this is a negatively charged body and the representation of electric field lines are shown in figure then if it is asked what is the ratio of magnitude of q1 to q2 okay another concept the number of electric field lines or we may say it flocks electric flocks we will discuss in the next lecture about the electric flocks directly proportional to magnitude of charge okay. number of electric field lines we may take it five flocks directly proportional to magnitude of charge Okay, so more the magnitude of charge, more is the number of lines of force. Okay, depending upon this concept, we may now find ratio between the charge, magnitude of charge Q1 to Q2. Okay, then number of lines of force proportional to charge here, number of lines of force 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, 4. Then here, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, okay, uh, 4, 4, 8, sorry, 4, 4, 8, and 3, 3, 6, 8 divided by 6, so magnitude of Q1 divided by magnitude of Q2 is 8 by 6, or am I right, 4 by 3, so it shows that magnitude of Q1 is greater than that of magnitude of Q2. Of course, if this question were asked, what is ratio of Q1 to Q2, then our answer would be minus 4 by 3, since one charge is positive and one charge is negative. Okay. So, considering the sign, ratio of Q1 to Q2 is minus 4 by 3, without considering sign, the magnitude of Q1 to magnitude of Q2, ratio of magnitude of Q1 to magnitude of Q2 is 4 by 3. So, more the Number of lines of force implies more is magnitude of charge. Okay. Then another concept related to this discussion. Okay. Next point. If electric field lines are crowded. Or we may say the answer. Then electric field is stronger. Where? Where electric field lines are crowded or denser, then their electric field is stronger. If we observe, suppose I am taking this positively charged body.
ओके यू सी नियर द सर्फेस ऑफ चार्ज बॉडी इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइन आर क्राउडेड और क्लोज ऑफ टू इच अदर बट आज द डिस्टेंस इनक्रीजेस सी हियर दिस इज द गैप बिटवीन टू लाइन ऑफ फोर्सेस एंड द गैप इनक्रीजेस आज डिस्टेंस इनक्रीजेस सो वेर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइन आर क्राउडेड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज स्ट्रांगर एंड वेर गैप बिटवीन द फील्ड लाइन इनक्रीजेस देन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड decreases again we know electric field varies inversely as the square of distance if distance increases the magnetical relation shows that magnitude of the electric field decreases again this is on the basis of graphical representation where lines of force are crowded electric field is stronger means electric field is stronger near the surface of charged body and electric field goes on decreasing rapidly as distance from charged body increases okay then another concept suppose we are considering this can say positive or negatively charged body we will go to all this to diagrams also we have discussed up to this this is a positively charged body and this is a negatively charged body suppose line so force lines of force okay then suppose two lines of force are given means here magnitude of q1 is equal to magnitude of q2 okay magnitude is same suppose we are considering two lines of force so lines of force starting from the positive surface of positively charged body and terminating on the surface of negatively charged body if here the question were asked which one is greater means magnitude of q1 or magnitude of q2 which one is greater okay you see this is perpendicular to the surface this is also perpendicular to the surface if you imagine let here angle is theta and here angle is alpha then which angle is more as it looks <laughs> theta is greater than alpha means here lines of force are crowded since alpha is less here lines of force are less crowded since theta is more so obviously here q1 magnitude of q1 is greater than that of magnitude of q2 as we have discussed If electric field lines are crowded, then field is stronger. Here, theta is more than alpha, means electric field lines are less crowded. Up this on the surface containing charge Q1 and more crowded on the surface containing charge minus Q2. So more crowded here. So more is the magnitude of charge. More is the strength of electric field near its surface, means magnitude of electric field. okay next between a positive and negatively charged body lines of force start from the surface of positively charged body and terminate on the surface of negatively charged body okay because this uh, surface of positively charged body repels you with positive charge and it repel by this surface and attracted by the surface of negatively charged body and lines of force terminate means path followed by the unit positive charge terminate on the surface of negatively charged body if you consider two positively charged body okay let's imagine suppose here we do place an unit positive charge actually this unit positive charge is repelled by by this positive charged body if this positive charged body were not present the lines of force would be straight but here it is looking towards the unit positive charge where are you going i am here in my region you can't enter go back <laughs> so this unit positive charge is repelled by this positive charge 
But due to presence, presence of this positively charged body, it will not move towards it because this positive charge will threaten it. <laughs> so obviously this unit positive charge will get diverted from its path. Okay. <laughs> Similarly, these are the number of lines of course for this body also. Okay. So <laughs> the representation <coughs> of electric field lines between two similarly charged bodies both are positive. Okay. Now about this, this is a metallic plate containing positive charge, this is another metallic plate containing negatively charged and we may assume the positive and negative charges are uniformly distributed on the surface of metallic charge. Then, the unit positive charge is repelled by positive and attracted by negative. See students, so we have discussed. Where lines of force are crowded, electric field is stronger, and lines of force are crowded near the surface of charge body. Lines of force are crowded near the surface of charge body. So, electric field is stronger near the surface of charge body. So, electric field decreases as distance from charge body goes on increasing. But in this case, you just observe, sorry, you just observe the space between the charges. Okay. In the space between two oppositely charged plates, electric field lines are parallel. Electric field lines are parallel and also equidistant okay where electric field lines are parallel and equidistant then electric field strength is uniform okay here electric field lines are parallel and equidistant means crowdness is same everywhere. So where electric field lines are parallel and equidistant then electric field is uniform. Thus uniform electric field is produced between two oppositely charged metallic plates. Of course we have to uh, uh, observe, we have to uh, assume that the distribution of charge on the both the plates are uniform and equal also. Okay. So, next point. About this point. Suppose this is a positively charged body, this is a negatively charged body. We are considering about two lines of forces. Okay. Unit positive charge is repelled and Path followed by the unit positive charge starts from surface of charge body and terminates on surface of negatively charged body. Okay. Can this lines of force be a closed curve like this? No. Because there is no lines of force, because there is no charge inside the surface of charge body. So electric field lines, I am writing here. Electric field lines can never be a closed curve. Electric field lines can never be a closed curve because there is no charge, no lines of force, no electric field inside the surface of a charged body. So electric field lines can never be a closed curve. But magnetic field lines may be closed curves. Okay. For a magnet, we will discuss in magnetism. This is south pole, this is north pole. Lines of force start from north pole and move towards south pole again. Not terminating on south pole but enters into it and again which is at north pole. So magnetic field lines are closed curves but the electric field lines can never be closed curve. Okay. Electric field lines can 
can never be parallel to the surface of a charge body as we have discussed electric lines of force start from the positive surface of positively charged body normally and terminate on the surface of negatively charged body normally can electric field lines suppose this is a positively charged body can electric field lines be like this can electric field lines be parallel to the surface of charged body no electric field lines can never be parallel to the surface of charged body why you may consider this positive charge plate also okay. can electric field lines be parallel to the <laughs> surface of charged body no why because if you place here an unit positive charge or if you place here an unit positive charge the unit positive charge as we have discussed electric field lines are graphical imaginary representation of electric field means electric field lines are locus of unit positive charge or path followed by unit positive charge okay so if you place here unit positive charge will the unit positive charge will move around the positive surface of positive charge but no the positively charged body will say it go away from me okay if there would be a negatively charged body and if we place here an unit positive charge the negatively charged body will call it come towards me come towards me then it will move directly towards it and it will move directly from it so this type of lines of force are not possible here also this unit positive charge will get repelled or the unit positive charge will terminate on the surface of negatively charged body so electric field lines can never be parallel to the surface of body of charged body because if the electric field lines were parallel to the surface of charged body then unit positive charge would move parallel to the surface of charged body which is not observed okay physics is the science which is based on observation this is uh, this concept not comes in our observation so we say electric field lines can never be parallel to the surface of charge body okay then you see here between a positively charged body and a negatively charged body i am representing two lines of forces see if we consider the gap between these two lines of forces near the surface of charged body the gaps are less but here the gap is increasing between two similarly charged bodies positive and positive this is a line of force this is a line of force this is a line of force and this is a line of force okay here the gap is smaller but as distance increases the gap increases okay this concept is called as edge effect edge effect curving at the edge curving curving at the edge is called as edge effect. lines of force have tendency i am writing here lines of force or electric field lines lines of force have tendency to contract contract longitudinal between Two oppositely charged bodies. Okay, these are two oppositely charged bodies. Lines of force have tendency to contract longitudinally. Contraction. 
lang well, lines of force are tendency to contract longitudinal and longitudinal contraction this is longitudinal longitudinal contraction long contract longitudinal between two oppositely charged bodies which shows attraction between between the charges similar between two similarly charged bodies i may write here lines of force have tendency to repel lateral Little laterally between between here <laughs> between two similar charge bodies which shows repulsion between the charges okay lines of force have tendency to contract longitudinally to contract longitudinally between two oppositely charged bodies lines of force have tendency this is lateral to repel laterally between two similarly charged bodies okay longitudinal contraction shows attraction between opposite charges lateral repulsion shows repulsion between two similarly charged but these two effects longitudinal contraction or lateral repulsion these two effects are called as aids effect aids effect okay longitudinal contraction or lateral repulsion shows attraction and repulsion between two oppositely and between two similarly charged bodies this uh, observation means curving at the edge curving at the edge is called as edge effect okay so these are basic concepts on lines of force okay as we have discussed where lines of force are crowded electric field is stronger some simple fundamental askings okay suppose this is a representation of two lines of forces these are very common questions suppose you have represented two lines of forces this point is a this point is b this point is c so where there is lines of force there is electric field okay so it implies where there is no lines of force there is no electric field as that of inside the surface of a charge body okay so here there are lines of forces there must be electric field let electric field at point a is e electric field at point b is e b electric field at point c is e c how can we relate them see the gap here when where point a this gap is equals to this gap so magnitude of electric field at a is equal to magnitude of electric field at c because the crowdedness is same at a and b c between these two regions and of course here the gap is some extent more so where lines of force are crowded electric field is stronger here crowdedness are same so electric field at a is equal to electric field at c but both are more than that of magnitude of electric field sorry magnitude of electric field at b okay so next another type question may be asked suppose we are discussing on some diverging electric field lines diverging electric field lines are divergent for a positively charged body electric suppose this is a positively charged body electric field lines are divergent for a negatively charged body 
electric field lines are convergent. Of course, you can represent on all sides because electric field lines are symmetric. Okay. So, this point is A, this point is B, this point is C. Then obviously here crowdness is maximum, here moderate and here crowdness is minimum. Okay. So, you may write the magnitude of electric field at A is greater than that of magnitude of electric field at B is greater than magnitude of electric field at C. Since crowdness goes on decreasing, crowdness becomes lesser, so electric field goes on decreasing means for a positive charge, positive charge distance increases, electric field decreases and vice versa. Okay. Next. Suppose these are previous questions from some competitive exams and very easier questions. These are old questions. Okay. Suppose this is an equilateral triangle of each side A. Just imagine. Are the three, are the three vertices of an equilateral triangle, three equal charges are present. We have placed, we have placed three equal positive charges at the vertices of an equilateral triangle of side A. How can we represent electric field lines? Okay. So, as we have discussed, Number of electric field lines are directly proportional to magnitude of charge. So for this charge, see, this is positive, this is positive, this is positive. Between positive charges, lines of force will repel each other. So here, lines of force like this. One, two. Symmetric must be there. Three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, seven. Okay, here also. Okay, here also. The lines of force in like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four, three, four, five. Four, four, one. Okay, here also. Looking beautiful. <laughs> we may represent like this. Okay. Then, this is the representation of electric field lines for three equal charges placed at the vertices of an equilateral triangle. Okay. You may take screenshot. Next. Suppose it is asked. This is a metallic plate. Okay. This is a metallic plate. And at a height h, we do place here an unit, sorry, a positive charge plus two. Then it is asked to represent the electric field lines in this case. See students, we know electrostatic induction. If this is positive charge placed nearer to a metallic sheet or metallic plate, then obviously negative charges will be induced then electric lines of forces tend to move from positive to negative this is positive charge point charge this will be electric field or lines of force And so, okay. so we can't terminate a line in space because electric field lines may spread up to infinity. Termination only takes place on the surface of negatively charged body. Okay. Suppose we are taking, let this is a charged body, charge is plus 4q. This is a charged body, let charge is minus 2 Q. And as we know, electric field lines means number of electric field lines are directly proportional to product of charges. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
सेल ओके देन मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फोर क्यू इज मोर देन दैट ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ टू क्यू देन टू क्यू माइनस टू क्यू चार्ज टू द सर्फेस ऑफ माइनस टू क्यू चार्ज लाइन्स ऑफ फोर्स आर अट्रैक्टेड एट्स नाउ Eliminate this. Lines of force are attracted. Number of lines of force is six. Then emitted from the surface of positively charged body six, and terminating on the surface of negative charge is also six. This is not correct because this is uh, the magnitude of negative charge is less. Magnitude of positive charge is more. If negative charge let let's assume. If negatively surface of negative uh, if lines of force terminating on the surface of negatively charged body, we are counting the number is six. Then this must emit number of lines of force twelve. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so what is the concept? Number of lines of force or flux are directly proportional to charge. Okay. Then last question. I have already drawn the diagram. These are three charges: Q1, Q2, Q3. And the respective lines of forces means electric field lines are shown in figure. So we have to state what are the nature of the charges means. Q1, Q2, and Q3, whether they are positive or negative. Okay, very easy question. Let's consider this charge Q1. Lines of force always start from the surface of positively charged body or from positive charge and terminate on the surface of. Negatively charged body or a negative charge. Okay, so this is Q1. As it is seen from Q1, the lines of force start in all directions, in both the directions. So obviously, this charge is positive. Then about Q2, lines of force terminate on negative charge. See, this is Q2. These are the field lines coming from Q1, and these are the field lines coming from Q3 towards Q2. So obviously Q2 is negative. Okay. Then about Q3, <laughs> then this is positive because electric field lines are starting from point Q3 means from point charge Q3 and moving in both the directions. So. These are some easy discussions in today's lecture. Again, we'll meet in lecture nine, and we'll discuss the fundamental concepts of electric flux and Gauss law. Thereafter, we'll move to application of Gauss law uh, to find electric field in different situations. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your support and for your inspiration. Thanks.